Hey everybody, what's going on? Uh, just wanted to shoot a quick little video for you guys. I promised to try to give you a video pretty much every week through the winter time. I know I've missed a week here and there just out of things happening. You know, you can't can't predict things coming up and just getting sidetracked and work and everything just kind of kind of get in the way sometimes. But here's my effort to continue to bring you content. I hope everyone had a great holidays. Hope everyone's got some good plans for 2018. I know I certainly have lots of great things planned for 2018 as far as the channel goes. So in this video, I just kind of wanted to give you an update as far as some things that I've gotten upgraded uh, this year, as well as some of the stuff that I had from last year, and just kind of giving you an idea of what I'm going to be going into 2018 uh, for bringing the best content that I can to the channel. Well, I've been really pinching pennies recently because of the wedding. Uh, we're getting married this year in May uh, in the Dominican Republic, having to pay quite a bit of money to get out there as well as paying for my parents, her parents. I'm also paying for a buddy of mine to come out to be a photographer for the wedding. So just a lot of those expenses has come with the wedding. But everything in this sense has to be paid up front uh, because it's a destination wedding. And I was kind of pitching every single penny just to make sure that we were financially responsible uh, to know that we were going to be able to make our goal and making sure that the people that we wanted to come to our wedding that couldn't afford to come uh, were able to be there. So with that being said, it, it, it's kind of hard when you, know, you want to buy a lot of stuff to improve the channel, but you know you have to be relatively frugal for sense of a better word. Recently, you know, we've pretty much got most of the wedding stuff paid off. We've gotten caught up. So I decided I want to make an upgrade to the channel. I want to get a better DSLR. I had the Nikon 3200, very entry level. Did what's purpose, gave me better quality, uh, better quality video, better quality photos than a typical phone would be able to take. So it served its purpose. I didn't want to spend a ton of money when I entered the channel uh, in terms of a DSLR just because I wasn't sure if I was going to like it. Just as I recommend for a new motorcycle rider to hop on a Ninja 250 uh, for multiple reasons. One, you're learning how to ride. And two, you're not quite sure the type of riding you're going to be into. So there's no sense in paying a ton of money for a motorcycle that you may not end up liking. So it's always good. Uh, to buy a cheap motorcycle to learn on and then that motorcycle you could flip for pretty much what you bought it for and then you kind of have a better idea of what you're looking to do and you're not out a ton of money. So that was my kind of same thought process when it came to buying an, a DSLR. It came with a full setup for about 400 bucks which is awesome That's it, it, and it did its purpose. But with the wedding coming up uh, I wanted to make sure I had the best possible equipment that I could have that really fits for what I'm looking to do so I decided to upgrade. What I decided to upgrade, as you'll see a picture here, and it is the Canon 80D. Great upgrade. I really, really love this camera. It comes with the flip out screen. So if you see me looking away to this side here, it's probably because I'm still adjusting to learning to not look at the, 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 the frame shooting back at me. I'm still adjusting to that. I've already shot a video for next week's video. Uh, that was the first video I shot with it. A, I shot it with a different lens. That was a 24 millimeter lens. So, and I was trying to tripod hold it. So I wasn't able to get such a wide angle uh, as I am now. Now I'm shooting on a 10 to 18 millimeter lens. So I was able to get a much wider angle uh, for this video than last video. And last video, when I was reviewing the footage, I realized I pretty much stare at the screen the whole time. So it kind of looks a little bit awkward to the footage, but I still think the general message of the video will still come across, so I'm still gonna post it for next week's video. I wanted to switch from Nikon to Canon because, I mean, every single professional photographer that I pay attention to typically shoot Canon. You gotta ask yourself, why is that? Uh, the autofocusing system on the Canon is fantastic. And when I'm shooting high action, motorcycle racing, my friends in the twisties doing wheelies, I want the fastest focus possible, and that's what comes with Canon. The autofocus for video is also spectacular from what I understand. Let me give you guys just a little sneak peek on some of the other lenses that I've picked up. Now the lens here that I'm using right now is Whelan's. Uh, thank you Whelan for letting me use the lens and testing it out. Uh, definitely think I'm going to pick up a lens similar to this for, for video, uh, because the other lenses just don't quite work out. Hang on. 
We're going to inception this. You ready? Hi, Ian. Hey. You're on a YouTube video. Oh, am I? Yeah. What's up, dude? Can I say hello to Ian? Hi. At LaForceIan on Instagram. I'll tag it in the description. He's the guy who uh, allegedly may have wheelied past the cop in one of my videos. Anyway, back to what I was talking about. So the, the, the lens I'm shooting on now is a 10 to 18 millimeter, uh, 4.5 to 5.6. Fairly slow lens, but I like it for the nice wide angle, uh, good, good range of uh, footage for this type of video. The boom mic is fairly close to me, so I hopefully it picks up better audio. I think I need to pick up this lens. Definitely gonna have to do that. Uh, the main lens that I purchased already that I think is going to work out great for photos, and I'll tell you why I picked this lens, is the 24 to 105 L series f4, image stabilized, autofocus, the whole shebang. Um, this is a very, very good lens. Now, it's much better than any of the lenses that I had before with the Nikon. It's not the best lens available to the Canon L series. Now, the L series is their professional series line, but it's not their best lens. It's an f4, which means it's a little slower lens, so it's going to not do so well in uh, darker scenes. But again, I ride motorcycles, so typically it's daytime anyway. And it's 24 to 105, so with the increased range, they say it doesn't get the sharpest of images uh, that you see from, you know, like a 18 to 35 millimeter lens, for example, or a prime lens. But I think this lens is going to be perfect for the wedding. Uh, going to get some really good shots. I think this will be a perfect lens for shooting racing. Uh, it's got enough range for a good zoom to get good close-up photos and, and very sharp photos. So I'm really excited for this lens to be able to use it. Uh, the other lens that I picked up uh, so far is just a 50 millimeter prime 1.8, very fast lens. Good for great bokeh, which is the blurriness in the background. Good depth of field. Very, very, very sharp pictures. I took a, a pretty cool, cool photo and I'll post it right here of a chessboard with some vape smoke going across. I thought it was really cool with this lens. How the foreground is really out of focus, really sharp on the thing that I wanted to focus on, and then again, some blurriness in the background, which gives great depth of field. So that second lens. And then another lens that I'm gonna have to pick up, which Whelan has let me test. Another reason why I switched to the Canon line is because a lot of my friends shoot Canon, so I can interchange lenses if I need to is the 72-200 L series. 70 to 200 is a fantastic, uh, fantastic range. Really cool lens, very high quality lens. So I'm excited to pick these up. Now again, each of these lenses, you know, roughly can cost upwards of $1,000. So, you know, I'm not gonna buy them all at once. Eventually I will pick up and this exact setup. I know I'm rambling on, but I'm super excited about this camera. I think it's gonna be great for these types of vlogs because I'm able to see myself for good composition. Uh, and the stuff that I'm going to bring back again for next year, excuse my reach here, is obviously going to maintain the Mavic. Great, great drone. Perfect for the motorcycle vlogger. Easy to carry around, uh, to pull out at any moment, and, and get those good aerial shots as well. Still going to keep the gimbal. Great for those GoPro shots if for some reason I, I, I want to do some cinematic stuff with the GoPros. God, I keep looking at the screen. I apologize. And then, of course, the main focus of the motor vlogging channel. Still have all the GoPros. GoPro Hero 4 Black, GoPro Hero 3 Plus, and GoPro Hero Session. Uh, still the three cameras that I'll be rocking. No sense in upgrading those. The Hero 5 and the Hero 6 don't offer much more advantage besides image stabilization, which I think the GoPro still does fairly good with the 4. And most importantly, uh, the mic input for the 5 and the 6 is just a headache. I don't like that, so sticking with the 4 for the easier mic input, still same quality video, 1080 60. With that being said, um, look forward to a great 2018. I hope all of you guys are really excited for 2018 as much as I am. Uh, a lot of big changes for me in my life in terms of getting married. Gonna be really hitting the gym, working out, trying to lose, probably about, I'm looking to lose maybe 30 to 35 pounds uh, to get back down to where I wanna be before the wedding. Um, you know, I'm probably not gonna do any of those typical fitness vlogs because, I mean, I'm gonna be honest, I don't find them too interesting. But most importantly, yeah, if I could stress one thing to you guys, and this is something that's kind of come up in my life pretty recently, is don't stop dreaming. If you want something, go and get it. 
do not, please do not let anyone tell you any different. Don't, if, if you are passionate, I don't care what it's about. It could be passionate about window washing. If you are passionate about it, you can be successful with it. It is that simple. I think you could be more successful if you're passionate about window washing than you could be if you were an attorney and hated your job. I just think if you're really passionate about something and you really focus hard on it, you can be successful in anything that you do. I made the decision this past year to move two and a half, two hours away from where I grew up and raised and all my family uh, as an opportunity to take a position with a different company to better my family's situation financially as well as emotionally. Uh, my fiance, she took a step backwards in terms of her position to be able to move along with me because she felt as a family we were going to benefit greatly by doing this as a whole. And it was a little bit of rockiness at the beginning, but I can't tell you how incredibly lucky I am to be in the motorcycle community because so many friends that I've met from Toledo are great people and so many of these people have been more than willing to embrace me and, and be friends with me and enjoy my uh, camaraderie. I mean, I had a couple buddies over for New Year's uh, that I would have never have met before had I not moved out here. I couldn't have been more blessed with the current situation of my company. Uh, it's rapidly growing. The owner is very family oriented. Uh, I just really couldn't be happier with my current situation. I found out I'm going to be getting back to my hometown here within the next year, uh, which is great news. Get back to being closer to my son as well and my family and her family. Uh, like I said, I'm getting married. I'm upgrading to the channel. I'm thinking about starting a photography business uh, now that I've started to upgrade to some professional equipment. Uh, the ADD, again, not the top of the line, but it is one of their best crop sensors. And after doing some reviews, crop sensors is probably what uh, what I need to do because I shoot action sports photography and that crop sensor gives that extra zoom. But I may start a photography business, uh, you know, to make a little couple extra dollars, even though I'm not necessarily hurting for it. And some other changes to the channel as well in terms of maybe opening a store with some of my merchandise. Again, I'm not going to promote the store if people want to pick up a throttle lock t-shirt or a throttle lock wristband for their reservoir cover. I may have them available. I'm not trying to really make any money off of the YouTube channel. A couple extra dollars, that's awesome to have. Again, as you can tell, I'm literally dumping thousands of dollars into the channel uh, without any sort of kickback uh, from you guys, which nowadays is unheard of. Uh, you know, every single channel's got their Patreons, every single channel's got their donations, um, every channel's looking for their ad revenue. I'm just, I enjoy doing this. I love the passion that I have for motorcycling and I want to bring that on to you guys. And I hope one day um, I can look back at these videos and just and reminisce on how great it was and how much fun I had and hopefully I'm still riding. Uh, but with that being said guys, I don't want to continue to ramble on. Just remember, if you want something, go and get it. Don't make excuses for your situation because Listen, I didn't have the greatest upbringing. My fiance didn't have the greatest upbringing. We didn't let that determine who we are. Uh, too many people nowadays are, oh, I grew up in a bad neighborhood. I was, you know, I, that, that was the reason for my non-success. Be passionate about something. Find something that you love, go after it, and enjoy life. Life is too short, especially for motorcycle riders, that it's not worth just cruising along. Go out there, do something that you like, get the things that you want, and enjoy it. I hope you guys are still here with the video. I, I can't thank you guys enough for supporting the channel. The channel is almost 1,500 subs. Uh, for many of you, that's probably not a great accomplishment. Uh, but for me, I'm really blessed to have hit that number. Uh, obviously, the grind is not going to stop. I'm going to continue to to look forward to, to moving uh, that number to a much higher level. But uh, for the 1,500 of you, roughly 1,500 of you that are that are still supporting the channel, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I can't say it enough. You guys really drive the channel to move forward. If there's anything that you guys uh, that you guys want to see, anything that you guys want me to put on some sort of store, let me know. I'll be happy to do it. If you guys are looking for a sticker, send me an email, throttlelocktv at gmail. Uh, put sticker in the uh, subject so I know what you're talking about. And then just send me your address and I'll mail you a free sticker as long as I still have some. I think I've got roughly 50 left. You know, no charge to you guys, of course. Just uh, just for being there supporting the channel. 
Well, guys, I don't want to continue to ramble. Thanks for watching the video. Thanks for supporting the channel, as always. If you're still here, please, please stay safe out there. If you're riding, uh, keep the rubber side down. Please don't forget to enjoy the moment. And until the next video, guys, we'll catch you guys later.